Hi, my gardening angels. So apparently it's winter today. Um, let me show you what I mean. <laughs> Isn't this nuts? It just started coming down and it's so thick and wet. And I mean, there's only about an inch currently, but it's uh, coming down hard. So hooray. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jess. And today I'm going to be talking about mealybugs on your succulents. Mealybugs are something that I truly believe every single gardener has to go through. No one is safe from it. I feel like for me it flares up every once in a while where I'll find one and then I find a bunch and treat them all and then I don't find one again for several months. So this is just kind of a routine thing for me. I treat them all the time. Um, but I truly believe that these methods do get rid of them. I think that just because I have such a sheer amount of succulents that I'm just prone to them. You know, you can't really escape them forever. So this is something that just keeps working for me. I haven't had too many huge issues with them. And I think the big thing with mealybugs too is if you catch them early, they're a lot easier to treat and they aren't going to ruin your succulents as much and you're going to be better off catching it early than you would be letting it go. So... Um, I will kind of show you guys some of the signs and then how to treat them and then I'll talk a little bit at the end just kind of to recap. Okay, so this succulent has mealybugs and I will try to show you a close-up later, but one of the signs that when you're looking for mealybugs that this succulent is showing is that there's scarring along its leaves here. And so sometimes this scarring just occurs based on something else but when you see this happening try to look for mealybugs so underneath here you want to just remove kind of the dead leaves or the older leaves and then I will remove this leaf because I can see a mealybug underneath of it and I want to show you guys what that kind of looks like so I don't know if you guys were able to capture that but uh, there was kind of a web-like white fuzz that pulled off of there. Okay, so this is a pretty good picture of what I'm kind of trying to talk about here. Um, this white fuzz is a mealybug. So, so you see how it's kind of cottony? He's right here. So they have this white cottony substance that they make. And then he has kind of this gray-ish body. I think he might be moving, actually. There we go. Oh, there you go. Now you can see him kind of moving. Mealybugs are extremely attracted to new growth, and so a lot of times you will find them on your propagating succulents, and so that's why it's really important to check for mealybugs often. So with this one, ooh, yeah, okay, you can see another one on here. Pretty good. Let me, okay, so this white dot right here is a mealybug. So as you can see, they're really small. So you wanna try to check in between your leaves at that stem base there. Um, a lot of times they're in the middle if it's bad. Ooh, okay, so I'm gonna have to rip off this leaf to show you the other sign that I would want you to look for. So uh, this scarring is one of them. The cottony white substance is the other one. And then this is kind of the other third sign that I've seen a lot of and so your leaf will form these tiny little droplets on them as you can see they're kind of hard they scrape off um, and I'm you know I'm not a bug expert so from my understanding they could be from the bug feeding on it and it could be what's in your succulent so like the sugars or whatever that are forming this or it could be eggs, who knows. If you know, please leave a comment down below because I'm not exactly sure what they are, but I do know they are associated with mealybugs. So that is something to keep an eye out for. 
So when I have a succulent that has mealy bugs that I found, I try to go around it and pull off any that I currently see and um, kind of get rid of whatever problem I did find. And then I take rubbing alcohol and I just put it directly on the middle here. Try to kind of spray it around and I make sure I get it on the stem and a little by the roots because they really like this area right here where the roots or where the stem meets the dirt. They love the leaf where the leaf meets the stem and they like the new growth that comes up from the top here. So I just kind of give that a nice little shake. It's ideal if you can get everything covered in it. This one isn't, but the pieces that aren't, I know the mealybugs aren't on. It's just important to get that stem really nice and saturated. And what the alcohol does is when it evaporates, it will kill the bugs. So um, this has been pretty effective. They do come back, but not very quickly. It takes care of the problem for a while, but when you had when you have succulents, it's a inevitable problem. So this kind of takes care of them for a little bit. And if you catch it early, then there's less damage to your plant. And the scarring won't go away on these leaves. However, the new growth will grow out. And so it won't be an issue after a while. So the other thing that you guys might notice is that the white film that succulents have, so this edge is dried, that is removed when I touch it, is a protector from the sun and when you add rubbing alcohol it kind of removes some of that a little bit so when you are treating for mealybugs it's important to keep this out of the direct sunlight as your succulent is going to be much more susceptible to burning so I'm just gonna keep him on a desk by my shelf and he'll be fine after a little while this is the other succulent that has mealybugs um, this is also my Allegra that I've been wanting to do a harvest video on, but the scarring here is really evident and I'm kicking myself that I didn't notice this sooner. So as you can see here, there's big scars along all of these outer edges there. It's really bad. Um, and in this center a little bit. So even though I don't see any mealybugs in this center, I know that that is just the common sign of it. And so what I'm going to be doing is I know that they're just chewing up this new growth down here. So I'm actually going to be removing the mom. One of you guys suggested that I do that instead of removing the babies and I just love that idea because then I don't have to uh, risk these guys relying on the little water that they have and they can stay with the stem and the roots and this mom can just grow new roots. So. I'm gonna go ahead and cut her off. Scissors are just so much easier. <laughs> so under here, oh yeah. So as you can see, these dead leaves are just home of mealybugs. So here's one of those little buggers. You can see that white fluffy cottony stuff here. So this is why it's really important to remove your leaves on your succulents. And you can see that they've just been chowing down because look at all of this scarring around here. So I'm actually going to remove some of these leaves just so I can kind of see what I'm working with a little bit better. Oh, there's one. Okay, so you might be able to see them one of them is moving right now. There he is crawling. You guys see that? He's trying to run away from me. And then there's one right here. So this guy obviously had it much worse. So this guy obviously had it much worse. I think that's all the ones I'm gonna be able to get. I'm just kind of rubbing my finger along because that should pick up some of them. I'm not gonna destroy this trying to get at each one of these but what I am going to do is pour on my rubbing alcohol and I'm really just going to make sure that all the in-between are completely soaked and then I'm just going to put this 
right here to dry off a little bit. And now, here's this guy. So removing all those dead leaves, remember, and just, <laughs> I don't know if you guys see all this white cottony gunk, but it's just lovely down here. I should have harvested these guys, or the mom off, a long time ago so that this didn't happen. There's one in the dirt there. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at this. Oops, sorry. I'm up too. Do you guys see how horrible this is? <laughs> Ugh, yuck. Now, ideally, I would not have to do these to all my succulents. Um, so if you just keep on top of removing the dead leaves every now and then, because a lot of people ask me how I keep on top of my plants, how I care for so many of them, and the truth is that I really try to stay on top of it. Now with this one, I've known that I wanted to do a harvest video for you guys, and this is gonna be kind of it, but I've been putting it off because I know that I needed to treat it and I knew that I wanted to do this video. And so I've been really kind of avoiding removing the leaves and getting around to it and it's been kind of sitting in a corner and I'm really regretting that now. <laughs> so obviously. Well, I accidentally popped this guy off uh, when I was trying to treat him. So maybe I'm just going to remove this one as well. There's just too many and he's gonna come off pretty easily anyhow so yeah like look at how bad that is <sighs> so removed both of those which I guess I will just be leaving this stem I'm gonna see if it won't grow me another baby I think there's some growth around here I'll just have to make sure it's kind of treated and doesn't have any mealy bugs um, but otherwise maybe he'll grow some offshoots for me so just kind of give him a nice little thing. And then same with these guys. Okay guys, so all of my succulents are treated and I just used that rubbing alcohol. And like I said in the video, that rubbing alcohol is going to remove that protective coat that's on the leaf. And so you just wanna make sure that you're not putting it in direct sunlight for a week or two, just because you really don't want them to get sunburned on top of the mealybugs and just kind of put them to the side, but don't put them in the dark, just put them somewhere that's a little less sunny so they're not gonna get sunburned. So another really great method that I have found is ladybugs also work really great. Obviously, I live in an apartment and I don't necessarily want to release 500 ladybugs in my apartment, but if you live somewhere where it's warmer all year round or your succulents are outside or if it's summertime and you're having mealybug issues, you can buy a bag of ladybugs off of Amazon and they'll ship them to your door and you can release them into your garden. Ladybugs eat mealybugs naturally and so I have done that in the past and I noticed a huge difference and it's just a nice fun way to bring a lot of ladybugs into your garden because they also just do a really good job at keeping other insects away like aphids and so if you have the chance I think it's only like ten dollars and it never could hurt to have some ladybugs just make sure you're taking good care of them they need uh like moist towels around the place in order to get some water so a couple of the signs that I want to make sure you guys are looking for is the scarring on the leaves and also those little water droplets from the sugars of the plant are another good sign that there's mealybugs. If you think of any other questions that you need to ask, leave them down below. I will try to respond to them or maybe do a question and answers video on them, but definitely feel free to leave any comment or question you have down below. And please give this video a big thumbs up if you felt that it was helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel before you leave. All right, thanks guys, bye.